Hey everyone, my name is Lacey Lee Elliott and I would like to welcome you to my channel. After getting out of an abusive relationship and recovering from a non-cancerous brain tumor, I decided I needed to change my life. I sold my house and I bought my very first RV. Um, I've had no idea what I've been doing the last eight or nine months and I have been sharing the good the bad and a lot of the kind of gross and ugly adventures. Last summer, I came home to Vancouver, Canada and I've been parked here all summer because I've been working. I have an amazing job. I'm an automotive journalist. Hey, this is an amazing opportunity to use some of the trucks that I drive and tow my trailer. And I'll be honest, even though I've been an automotive journalist for almost 15 years now, until I got this travel trailer, I really did not appreciate trucks and how amazing they are. Today's video, I have the 2019 GMC Sierra 1500. I hook it up and go over some of the really great features that this truck has to offer and then head up with a girlfriend to Kelowna for a vegan fruit festival. Today's video is all about the GMC Sierra and next week I will post a video on the experience I had at this vegan fruit festival with my girlfriend. And it's interesting because, well, I'm not vegan. Really hope you enjoy today's video and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications when I share more of my adventures. Um, behind me is the all new next generation 2019 GMC Sierra. I'm excited because I'm finally at a point with the RVing that I'm feeling a lot more confident with the RV stuff. So now when I get a truck to test drive, I can hook it up and focus a little bit more on the trucks I'm driving, what they're like to tow, their capability and features and all that good stuff. Now I do have the AT4 trim and this really does have a lot more um, on it for those of you that want to off-road with this truck. But today I'm heading up to Kelowna for a weekend with a girlfriend and just really looking forward to seeing how this truck drives when I'm towing my trailer behind it. I like the interior of this Sierra 1500. GMC's done a great job. There's large cup holders and this trim has a standard wireless charge pad. You've got a USB-C, USB charger, as well as a 120 volt and a home plug-in for all of your electronic devices. The knobs and buttons are all a decent size, so if you're using gloves, you'll still be able to use the full functionality. Inside your knee is a convenient cubby space that is small but large enough for a wallet or your mobile device. The center console has another USB-C, USB, SD card, and auxiliary jack. This cubby area is large enough for me to stow my purse and it would easily fit an iPad or a small laptop. Tons of space back here in the second row for people and stuff. There is cup holders here, or you've got a middle seat if you want. There's also some storage spaces in here to hide items on both sides. The seats split 60 40 and fold up nice and easy. There's a lot of room for items underneath the seat. I've had a couple of days with this truck and not only are there some neat features on the inside, but there's also some really cool features on the outside as well. On the 2019 GMC Sierras and standard on this AT4 trim is the Multi Pro tailgate. And GMC says it is the most innovative tailgate in this segment and does have some pretty cool features. First of all, you've got a 
standing workstation. So if you're on a job site or doing anything, you have easy access to this piece. The other great thing about this tailgate, soft loading with the button. And this piece then becomes some steps that make getting in and out of the truck bed super easy. And last but not least is this handle, which again, if you've got something in your arms, something heavy, it just makes getting in or out of the truck bed a lot easier. There's been a lot of emphasis that's been incorporated into this GMC Sierra to really add some innovative ideas and some incredible technology to give drivers a lot more confidence when they're hooking up and towing their trailers. Standard on all 2019 GMC Sierras is the trailering information label. This new label is placed on the driver's door jam and it clearly calls out vehicle specific weight information, including curb weight, GVWR, payload, and more. At the core of Sierra's pro trailering functionality is the new trailering app and it has some really unique features. There are several customizable trailer profiles, and once you've connected and saved a trailer, it will keep track of mileage and provide reminders of trailer maintenance intervals, as well as remembering your trailer brake controller gain settings. There's also trailer tire pressure monitoring, theft alert, and you can run the trailer light test and pre-departure checklist through the mobile app on your phone. Pro-grade trailering on the 2019 GMC Sierra includes hitch guidance with hitch view that allows you to zoom in on the hitch while you're maneuvering, auto electric parking brake assist, hitch area lighting, and an integrated trailer brake controller. There is also an available trailering camera package. This adds two rear facing cameras that are integrated into the side mirrors which is useful to see down the side of your truck and trailer during lane changes or when you're backing up. And when towing, you always want to make sure you put it into tow haul mode. This feature adjusts the transmission shift points in order to deliver the peak power when you need it the most. That the weight of this trailer and the towing capacity of this truck, it's like right on the cusp of where it like the max of you don't want to go any heavier and this is the first time since towing my trailer and driving a few different vehicles that I have actually experienced what this feels like and um, it's not very good and going up the Coquihalla the engine really had to work Sitting at 3,000 RPMs, I can really hear the engine inside the cabin and the knobby off-road tires. It was really loud. And normally when I've towed before, I try to get it 10 to 20% below that maximum number. It's gonna affect your brakes, it's gonna affect your steering, it's gonna affect sway. And not only will it potentially cause damage to your vehicle over time, but it's, pretty dangerous and now that I've had a chance to experience it is something that I will never do again. We arrived a little out of our element. Freya is the only travel trailer here but um, now that I had a chance to tell you guys about the truck I know this is going to be an amazing weekend filled with some good food, some cool people and some really unique experiences. Mm -hmm.